this governor won't back down. Congressman Tim Walls of Mankato won six elections as a Democrat in Southern Minnesota's Republican-leaning 1st Congressional District. And I think that sets me apart of coming from an area where I did have to live and operate, not just win elections in a Republican area, pass legislations in a Republican Congress that benefited all people. But he rejects the rural versus urban narrative coming from the legislature around issues like transit. A transit system in Minneapolis benefits Jackson and a township bridge that allows people to move farm equipment over it may be a little expensive to serve 15 families, those 15 families feed 50,000 people. Walls is a retired National Guard Master Sergeant and high school geography teacher. And I think that investment and raising up the joy in teaching, the joy in our schools, the, the having that as the focus, you're going to see uh, pretty prominently. But State Rep Aaron Murphy of St. Paul won the DFL endorsement. And especially in the last four years, I've watched the legislature move in the direction of Washington, D.C., focusing too much on how to win the next election how to beat the other side, and what's getting lost in that is Minnesota's future. The former House Majority Leader and longtime nurse supports single-payer health care. Use a provision that I put into law in 2010 to allow us to contract directly with the providers. I have a lot of faith in our doctors and our nurses who will provide the kind of care that people need without the oversight of the health plans who are using those tools to deny people care. Amid outrage over school shootings, all of the candidates have voiced support for universal background checks, but Murphy has called out her rivals for being late to the gun control game. I've always gotten an F from the NRA, and the two competitors with me, Attorney General Swanson and Congressman Walls, um, have uh, always gotten A's and A pluses, which means they're doing all their work and the extra credit. If you walk into a courthouse and you walk into an airport, you know, you have metal detectors, you have buildings that are secure. Attorney General Lori Swanson wants to boost school safety and mental health. Minnesota, we're fourth from the bottom in the number of school counselors. We have, I think, one school counselor for every 723 kids, fourth worst in the country. I'd up that. I'd bring money to the school so we can have more counselors. Despite her last minute entry, Swanson's still the most well known candidate in the race. After 12 years as the state's top consumer watchdog, she vows to end the partisan gridlock at the state capitol by using her negotiating skills. You know, the water quality problem in the East Metropolitan area with 3M went on for decades. Uh, agencies didn't do anything about it. The legislature didn't do anything about it. And I jumped in and got the biggest environmental settlement in Minnesota history, 100 times the next biggest settlement. Walls, Swanson, and Murphy will continue to duke it out between now and next Tuesday. And afterwards, they'll try to unify the DFL party for what's bound to be a very tough general election matchup. In St. Paul, I'm John Cromit. And for extended excerpts of our interviews with these candidates, go to our DFL primary story on care11.com. And coming up tomorrow at 5, John will show us some of the ins and outs of how the primary election ballot works here in Minnesota.